It's been in the news lately that um, there's some controversy around Eisenhower Middle School. And first of all, I want to commend the Board of Education for being willing to address this issue, and I want to commend the staff at Eisenhower Middle School for um, dealing with the situation as long as they've had. The simple truth is that it's time that we discuss, and the term I've been using is that we address the elephant in the room. And it's a long-standing problem with Eisenhower Middle School. We know it's had structural problems for a long time, over its 40-year life, lifespan, actually. And what we're here starting and what's been in the news and the reason we just had a recent parent meeting was 100% simply that it's time to quit kicking this can down the road and it's time for us to start talking about it. Rumors have been flying this week, of course. Um, some of them indicating we're going to close six schools. We're gonna, I've heard all sorts of rumors, but the simple truth is no decisions have been made at this moment. Indeed, they cannot be made because only the board can make decisions legally in an open session. So while we have had discussions, while I have been doing investigations, doing our, our due diligence to make sure that we've investigated this, no decisions have been made at this point. It's been no secret in this community, it is no secret that Eisenhower Middle School has structural issues. Since it was built in 1967, almost immediately from what I can hear, there were structural issues evident popping up all around. Um, within the first 25 years, they had to come in and do some massive work on it, shoring up walls. At one point, they had to evacuate part of the building to do some rebuilding and some structural support. Two times in the 90s that I've been reported there, they had to go in, the district had to go in and do significant, and, and one of the pictures on the paper this, um, re this week, this Thursday, was showed a picture of some of the supports and efforts that have been done in the past to shore up the building. So the building has a long-standing history. It's a, anybody that's familiar with the building, who's worked in the building or attended the building, knows that Eisenhower Middle School has some structural problems. We have been able to, this point, been able to address them and to, um, I guess, um, band-aid them. We're to the point now, though, that we feel like we need to have a substantive and serious discussion on whether or not that building will continue to be fit for our students' use. One of the things that since the 90s, though, in the last 20 years, we haven't really done much to the building structurally, but unfortunately, over that time, the building has continued to deteriorate, and now we're to a point, as we were in the 90s, we have to address it. We either have to do massive work to the building, or we need to decide whether or not we need to commit to the building at all together. So those are the decisions we face at the moment. In recent months, um, and actually what started this conversation was the bond and the, sales, and the sales tax processes. As we started planning to replace the HVAC, as we started looking at investing millions of dollars in the building for heating and air, for new windows, for grounds, for security systems, it became evident that we had to ask some other questions. And some of those questions were, should we invest in this building without a broader and larger plan? We involved architects and engineers in talking about this situation. And in fact, it came to a head this summer when the board members, several board members asked me individually if they would have an opportunity to tour the building personally. We did so individually um, in small groups. And after that, the board gave me some pretty clear directions individually on what individual members would like to see. One thing that resulted in that was a, a, several more conversations with engineers and architects, getting ideas and plans. But the very next thing that the board, um, some board members asked me to do was to go ahead and meet with the faculty and staff at Eisenhower Middle School to ask their opinion of the building. And again, their opinion of the building at the time, we had a meeting. Right in the meeting, um, the principal, Ms. Mattingly, asked the staff to go ahead and vote, um, or just show by a raise of hand, not to vote, but to show by a raise of hands how many thought the building was worth investing in its current state. And overwhelmingly, the consensus was the, building, the building's time has come. But I made sure Ms. Mattingly and her staff had a little more time. I told her to come back in a couple weeks, which she did. And again, the consensus was still the same. The people that work in the building have reached the same conclusion, that the building is no longer worth investing in in its current form. In other words, we need to do some drastic renovations we need to rebuild or we need to replace it. Those are the things that we know we need to do because the building has reached that point in its lifespan. All of these situations brought us to the January 29th meeting, which was this Thursday night. We did an all call to all parents, faculty, and staff, and we just had a simple meeting, which we very openly shared options, what our timeline was, what needs to be done to the building, as, as much as possible, just shared openly what we're looking at and what we're faced with. 
it's very important um, that we just address this issue. And again, I applaud the board, I applaud the staff and faculty of Eisenhower Middle School for everybody's willingness just to be have an open, honest discussion about the building. No decisions have been made, but we need to discuss the building. In that meeting, we discussed the following thing. We discussed the options for the building. We um, discussed some challenges that we're going to face in addressing this issue. We looked at what our next steps would be. We took a tour of the building and we asked parents and we asked staff and faculty, everybody together, to take a, chance, take, a, take a few moments, walk through the building, see the issues that we're talking about for themselves. Because some parents, while they've been in the building many times, they've not been in the specific rooms and areas of the building that show the most wear. And of course, at the end of that, we offered parents and staff and, and everybody in attendance a chance to give us some feedback on note cards so we could take those and process in our thinking. At this point still, however, until the board meets, which is going to meet on Monday, um, February 2nd, there was no option, no, no um, decision made. We just needed information and feedback from the community as we started having this tough conversation. One of the critical questions that the that, that board members have been asking individually and I've been asking as well as the staff for many years is, is, is Eisenhower Middle School safe? For that discussion, we had an, an architect from an architect firm, AIP Architects. They've been working with the district for decades. In fact, the owner, Stan Lewis, has been uh, working with um, Lawton Public Schools, I think, for 30 years. They've got a very intimate knowledge of the building and our district. Um, what the architects at this point have assured us is there are no imminent safety issues with the building. But what we have to figure out, at what point in the future is the building going to be is safe? And that's the next question. When will Eisenhower Middle School become a safety issue? As the building continues to show wear, deterioration, and with foundation issues, it does become a concern at some point in the future. So those are questions we need to ask. Another question, is it possible to renovate the existing building? This is a question that we can't ask until the architect comes up with a full plan, which we have commissioned the architect and engineers to come up with a full set of recommendations for us as a board and as a community to look at so we can decide what our best course of action is with Eisenhower Middle School. Another question we need to ask is, is it financially responsible to renovate the existing building? Some of the things we are, our preliminary investigation has indicated that to go in and fix the structural deficiencies in the existing building would be so expensive that the, it would not make sense to do so. Um, so therefore, we're looking at probability of having to replace Eisenhower Middle School rather than renovating it. It's simply because it costs so much to replace the existing problems. They're long-standing. They've been there for 50 years. We've tried to fix them before. And quite frankly, we have not been able to see an avenue by which we think we could fix them effectively. If we do replace Eisenhower Middle School, can we afford to stay in the current building in the meantime? That's a tough question, and that's a question only the engineers and architects can advise us on. And again, we're commissioning a full study. They've been working on that issue, and we hope to have that soon and have those recommendations as soon as possible. And finally, and this is the toughest question for the community and everybody, if we do have to move out of Eisenhower Middle School, what does that look like? We've had that experience in the past, Tomlinson Middle School, and. Um, uh, 20 years ago or so, there was an emergency situation where we had to move out of a building. We have the responsibility as a superintendent and as a board to make sure that we've thought out any of these contingencies. So once the report comes back from the um, architect and the engineer, we'll have a better idea of the long-term long implications of this building and what we'll need to do um, either this year or at some point in the future. I think the consensus at this point is we know, everybody knows that at some point we're going to have to vacate Eisenhower Middle School. What we're trying to determine out is when, how, and what that would look like. So that's what we expect to try to determine over the next few weeks. Lawton Public Schools has a long history of dealing with, um, with buildings and moving in and out of them. There are two specific examples from the past that, that, that the district has learned from. One, again, is the old Tomlinson Junior High School. There came a point with very little notice, absolutely no notice, as a matter of fact, we understand, where the building was closed. It was in the middle of the school year and the students had to move out. We had to, um, from what I understand, there was a there, were, there was a campus in, in the district doing double duty. We had students going early in the morning and late at night because we didn't have any time to get out of the building. We don't want to kick this down the road, kick this can down the road so long where we're faced with an emergency situation. Again, right now, we don't feel like there's any imminent danger to that building, but we know at some point in the future we're going to have to make that decision. 
Another situation involved another middle school, which was Central Middle School, which was a kind of a different situation, and it was a, a school that the district kept investing money into, pouring a lot of money over a long period of time in order to get the building where it needed to be, but we could never do so. And eventually, we had to abandon that building as well. So we have two situations. We have one where a building turned out to be an emergency situation, and we had to evacuate students without any plan at all. And then the second situation is it was essentially a money pit. Do we want to keep throwing money into Eisenhower Middle School the way it sits, the way it works, without having a plan in the future? Again, we want to avoid both of those situations. And again, I applaud the board. I applaud the staff for being proactive and not taking a chance with um, either the safety of our students and our staff, or again, on the other hand, uh, the financial responsibilities we have to the taxpayers. What this all boils down to, again, is it's time to just address the elephant in the room. We know we have problems at Eisenhower Middle School. We know we have a responsibility to address them because we know, quite frankly, if we do not, at some point in the future, we're going to have to make some very drastic decisions in a very short amount of time. Fortunately, I think we're getting ahead of the problem. I think we have time, and I think, again, I think the board should be applauded for being willing to face this issue. Some of the options that we've considered to date are we can repair the current building with its current structural problems. Again, we've had an initial opinion from an architect, and that cost at this moment does seem pro prohibitive. It does not seem like it's a very sensible option for us to um, put too much money or effort into renovating that building as it is. Another option we have discovered, um, discussed, we could partially rebuild Eisenhower Middle School on the current site. The architect has initially indicated Again, we will know once he has full, completed his full study that we could save portions of the building, demolish part of the building, and rebuild part of the structure on site. The cost for that is so close to the cost of renovating the existing building that that would be preferable to the option A. The third option, of course, is to completely rebuild Eisenhower Middle School. It could be on that site or it could be on another site. Both of those, things, both of those options, however, present some challenge. One is when we would be able to do it, do we have the funding, all those other things, but what would we do with the students in the meanwhile, and do we have enough time for, to wait for the other building to be built? And those are questions we have not been able to answer right now, and therefore that's one of the reasons we're involving the engineer and the architect to do a formal study of this. At some point, we know it's going to take three to five years to replace this building. But there are some other challenges, too. There is a steady decline in population in the district over the last several years. Lawton Public Schools used to be home to over 18,000 students, and we're currently at 15,000 students. Another issue on the horizon is Fort Sill. There's a lot of uncertainty whether or not Fort Sill is going to grow or Fort Sill, in fact, is going to shrink. Matter of fact, there's fear that it's going to shrink. The simple truth is we do not know. We would not be able to make a decision on this building and on our pop base until we know what our population trends and or the growth at Fort Sill. The question we have between now and then, however, will Eisenhower Middle School last and will it continue to be safe enough while we wait to make that decision? That's not something that we can take very lightly. God willing, the building has enough time where we can, we can watch and see what happens with Fort Sill. We can watch to see if our population um, stabilizes. But unfortunately, we will not take any chances. Well, just can't take any chances with the safety of our students. And the last challenge we face is funding. The only way we can build this project is looking to be from 20 to 35 million dollars. 20 million if we rebuild partially, up 30 to 35 million dollars if we rebuild the entire junior high complex, middle school complex. That would require a bond issue, and that would require a vote of the people. So we've got a several funding or several challenges that we've got to face in looking at how we address this situation. What will happen from this point on is we're going to have a board meeting on February 2nd and the board will give me some direction on how they would like me to proceed. I suspect, knowing the facts that we know right now, that the board would like me to investigate and present some options at the next board meeting. What are some costs, et cetera, going to be? Also, some, some more in-depth discussion on what the structural condition of Eisenhower Middle School is. Also, I do suspect the board's going to want me to 
to investigate what would a transition out of Eisenhower Middle School look like. It would not be responsible for us to start asking these questions without coming out with some worst case scenarios, some best case scenarios, and everything in between. Again, I do expect the board's going to direct me to um, start this conversation publicly. And once we start pulling the staff in, the principals, um, and looking at all the issues from all sides, then I think the, the options and the solution for Eisenhower Middle School will come into, into focus very quickly. And, and again, at the end of our, um, our meeting, we took a tour of the building. Um, we offered parents and, and um, community members an opportunity to see the building. Just as with the paper, um, we had some very strong reaction to the condition of the building, just as when we had reporters come into the building. The building's condition is, um, is a concern, to say the least, and um, the next steps from here on out is we've got a tough discussion to have, we've got some tough decisions to make, but one thing I know about this Board of Education, they're going to focus on what the needs of our children are, we're not going to, to take any chances with the safety of our children, they're going to focus the needs of our staff. We're, um, we're committed to making sure that everybody who has a position at Lawton Public Schools will have a position as we move into the future. We cannot afford to lose any of our good staff members. Anybody that's doing a good job for Lawton Public Schools and wants to stay with us, we want them here. And we're going to do everything we can to, um, to get through this process in a way that's financially responsible for this community. Again, we don't have any answers at the moment. But we are starting a very tough conversation. We're trying to involve as many of the community and the school, the district, the parents, as we can before we start to make some decisions.